business for over 25 years, and we supply over 250,000 draw bar hitcher components to the ag industry annually. This is our new truck draw bar holder. It installs in seconds. You just put it into the, the truck box. You tighten these three bolts. And it's an easy place to store your truck draw bars so they're not banging around the cab and they're stored safely. Customer that uses hitches all the time, we started asking why is everything built like this. The first thing we looked at is this truck draw bar that you have to take apart to adjust. Ours, you simply loosen the bolts and go up and down. We, everything has always been a pain with safety chains, so we made hooks on it so you can just hang the chain so it doesn't drag on the ground. In the ring part of it, this is the old rings that were used. Uh, we asked why, obviously. So we made a three hole adjustment, a 20 ton one. You get a lot more adjustment with it, and then we made it so that there's a lock that you can actually lock it up, and it's very cost effective. Mm -hmm. This is our new two and a half by two and a half uh, truck draw bar. It fits the three quarter ton trucks, the new ones. Obviously, you have that adjustment by loosening the bolts. You can go up and down. Intermediate chain support, gold, so you can pick that up in your truck camera. Two and five sixteenths ball, two inch ball, and it'll pull a ring hitch. So that's the only one out there that has all three trailer hookups. Same when it comes to combo hitches. These are the combo hitches that are out there, and there's all that slap in this connection. So when you're pulling a trailer, it's banging you all the time. You've got to remember to lock the lock, etc., etc. With ours, what we did is we tightened up those tolerances, and you can't tell the difference between a ball hitch and a ring hitch. We put in an automatic lock, obviously, and the intermediate chain supports. And looking at it, you know it's a lot more cost effective to build. This is the old style truck draw bar. I said we're not going to get into the race to the bottom. We're going to add features and benefits that customers want. The first thing we did, we, had, we added an alignment cup that centers and stops for easier alignment. We added intermediate chain supports. And we have a two inch drop and we have a four inch drop. And a four inch drop, by putting the spacer either top or bottom, you could put a two inch ball on the bottom and you can have two different trailer balls on it. Hitch has been on the marketplace forever. Doesn't mean it came out of the gate correctly. Here's the old style pintles that they get full of crud and they won't lock and you've got to remember to manually lock them. Ours, why wouldn't you just make a pintle hook that when you put it in, it locks itself. You can put a lock to lock the lock, just like in that one, but then when you unlock it, it resets itself. It has intermediate chain supports and you can see by looking at it that it's a lot more cost effective to build. And then we looked at the trailer hitch. This is off of one of my trailers. Uh, it jams up, it seems like it jams up all the time. You can't get them to work. So we made one. We worked on this for about a year. That's an automatic lock. And moving to the bigger stuff, this is the ones that are out there right now. They, well, obviously this one doesn't even work, it's jammed. So we made an automatic locking one. You do that, and it locks itself up. You put it in a safety clip, or you can put in a padlock to lock it. So we have a 14,000 pound model, or we have a 22,000 pound model. 